Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsline News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a video on Claude Giroux being set to debut with the Florida Panthers on the first line, as he's going to get first line reps according to the projected lines with Carter Verhege and Sasha Barkov. Obviously, Barkov is in Claude Giroux's mind already. I watched his presser today um, when he talked <clears throat> that was on there from down there. It was either today or yesterday, but he said that he thinks he's one of the best defensive forwards in the league. And G is obviously great two-way, and Brehecki's very good two-way. So that line's not only very good in the offensive zone, but that line has the potential to be wizardry in the defensive zone. Um, And then you got Huberto, Bennett, Duclair, nothing to complain about that line. Anthony Duclair has turned into the player. Everybody, a lot of scouts thought he would be, and a lot of people like myself thought he would be earlier in his career, which is a great offensive player that even has got better on the other end as well. Marchment, E2 Listerine, and Sam Reinhart, Lomberg, Akari, and Hornquist now back as well, which is huge, obviously, for a player for him to get someone like Patrick Hornquist in there who has the, the winning pedigree and the winning experience. Then Ben Sherratt, Mackenzie Weger, Forsling Dudas, and Robert Hag with Brandon Montour, who puts Lindholm on the bench for a guy uh, that adds more experience. Sorry, I dropped something over there. Who adds more experience in, Wob in Robert Hag. Um, and I think he was a perfect pickup for the Panthers as well because they have to have guys in there due to their defensive injuries. He fits there perfectly because he adds a lot more experience to their defensive front rather than having someone like Lindholm back there. Obviously, having Drew on their first line adds even more danger zone to the Florida Panthers lines as Maxim, uh, Maxman are out, Joe Thornton scratch, and then Lucas Carlson with Lindholm, uh, with Lindbaum, I mean, are scratched tonight. But, um, and uh, that makes sense. Uh, um, Joe Thornton, I'm pretty sure, um, I just, just think it's scratch more for the fact that they probably want to keep up with the the uh, just resting guys and keeping on that regimen pretty much when they don't need to play all these guys at the round end, especially against a team like the Canadians. I think that falls into that category. And then Anton Liddell at Vlad Nudevara and Jonas Johansson are all still banged up. Uh, when it comes to the Canadians, they got Cole Caulfield, who's scoring like a wizard out there. Suzuki Anderson, um, Hoffman, Rem Pitlick, and Laurent Dolphin. Tyler Pitlick, uh, two Pitlicks on this team. Christian Dvorak, <laughs> Joe Armia. And then you got Panzetta, Evans, and Paul Byron. And then Edmondson Petrie, Alexander Romanoff, David Savard, uh, Corey um, Schooneman. And then you got Chris Weidman, Jake Allen, it seems like, will get the start in net, with Spencer Knight getting the nod against the Montreal Canadiens. Obviously, this is a game that I think is going to favor the Panthers because not only are they the much better team on the ice, but they're going to have the energy of not just Giroux, but Ben Sherratt and Robert Hag debuting for the team, which always brings that extra oomph to a team when you have guys debuting, especially two guys that are very pivotal in your playoff run. One guy in Robert Hag, they can kind of be that unexpected guy that really does step up because like he said in his when he talked to the media he's a guy that just keeps it simple uh is a physical defenseman that makes the simple passes and he's not going to change his game because obviously they traded for him for a reason so that is a perfect way to describe it from Robert Hag for what he should do and that fits in perfectly with their third line as they have him with a more offensive guy which Robert Hag is the exact opposite in Brandon Montour so so it fits perfectly for this club so I think Florida is obviously set to be able to add to their win total, get to their 43rd win. That would be my projection tonight against the Canadians. They are seemingly resting some guys as they have Joe Thornton out of the lineup um, tonight as well. But that makes sense. You're playing a weaker team and your team that's already clearly obviously in the playoff. So going to be exciting to see Giroux, Sherratt, and Robert Hag, two former Flyers, will be a debut for the Florida Panthers. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Going to be fun to watch how this game turns out tonight. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above in the Easy Dudes widget to keep the channel growing to 215 or more to meet our end of March goal. Really appreciate you guys' love and support this far. Go Panthers.